Hi friends, welcome back to Social Science class. Myself, Johnson Charles. In this video, we are going to discuss a new topic. What the topic you know? Ah, the topic universal suffrage. Universal suffrage. That is the topic we are going to discuss today. First of all, I can explain you two words. What the meaning of that two words? Friends, you can see here suffrage or in the Frenchies. Suffrage or Frenchies. What the meaning of these two words? The meaning is that right to watch. Suffrage or franchise means right to watch. In a democratic system, the people they elect their representatives through their voting rights. Here coming the question whether all the people of in a society have the voting rights or not. Children, in some of the countries, all the people have the voting rights. But some countries, only the selected people have the voting rights. Why it happened? All these questions answered, we want to find out in this period. First of all, I can say another term here, universal adult franchise. Universal adult franchise means all the adults of a country are eligible to give their watch. Or in other words, all the adult people have the voting rights called the universal adult franchise. In India, we are following universal adult franchise. That means all the people attain 18 or above 18 years of age. They are having the voting rights without looking whether they are male or female or their education qualification or their religion or their color or their region or the language they are speaking here. No. Without looking at any of the barriers, all the people of our country, means 18 or above 18 years of old, all the people having the voting rights. That system is called a universal adult franchise. A country that following the universal adult franchise is our country itself, India. But we can see that some of the countries they did not own any property or a, could not watch. Some of the countries, some people, though the people they did not have the voting rights. Who did not have the voting right? Those who did not own any property could not a, watch. Means there is one condition, they should own some property. Those who having their own property or those who own their own property only have the voting rights in such a countries. In 18th or 19th centuries, many of the European and American countries, they followed this system. With a system, only the people, those own some property or those who paid the tax to the government that people only had the voting rights. They did not follow a universal adult franchise system. Especially the women, they did not have the voting rights or they did not uh, have the voting rights. Why? Because they too uh, did not want any property, so they could not have the voting rights. 
against this injustice, the people they raise their sound. And did the government told one excuse? What excuse the government told you know? Ah, the male member or a man voted on behalf of his family. Eh? A male member of a uh, family, he gone to the polling booth and his watch and he represented that entire family. So the ladies of the family no need of going to polling booth. That was the early concept and they, they denied voting rights for the women. In Britain, started some uh, revolution against uh, this policy of the government. Okay, so they started some movement against uh, the policy of the government. That means uh, the voting right is not given to the women. And uh, those who participated in that movement, we called the uh, suffragettes. What we called them? Uh, we called them suffragettes. Called a suffragettes. Question is there, what is called a suffragettes? Suffragettes means uh, the in British women, the British women organized a movement against the government policy denying the voting rights to the women. That revolutionary participants we are called a suffragettes. One of the prominent suffragettes called a Emily Davison. He was thrown during the revolution uh, in front of a horse and uh, she died there. She sacrificed her life for the Indian women. So the name of uh, Emily Davison is very important in this uh, moment. While this movement is going on, that time you know, the World War First started. That means in the year 1914, the World War First started, and all the main members of the country they participated in the World War. They got to the job battlefields, and at home they only the ladies. Whatever the works are done up to the end by the men, now the female or the ladies were forced to do that all the works. They managed the all the works very well. Now the people understood the female, they are not incapable. They are capable people. They are efficient people. Finally, the government accepted the abilities and the capabilities of the female. And they recognized their contribution. And they too, means the ladies, also decided, okay, we can stop our revolution till the end of the war. Now we can look after our family or in the, our economy because our male members, they are in the battlefield. So they stopped their, um, all the revolutions and they managed all the works done by the male up to the year in their country. They showed their um, ability and they proved they are better or uh, more better than their uh, male members. Finally, the government accepted their demand and in the year 1928, the British government granted voting rights to the women. A great important historical event. The female members, they got the voting rights in the year 1928. Uh, 1920, 1920, USC also granted voting rights to its uh, female members. In India, our constitution, the itself granted the universal 
adult frangines. That means the free India not denied the voting right to any people, neither women nor any other uh, people. The all the people they got the voting rights since our independence. There is no any discrimination in our country. So we are following what type of the voting right? Universal adult franchise. I hope you understood all the points. We will meet again in our next video with a new topic. Thank you.